Utah was not supposed to have a shot against USC this past weekend. The Trojans were looking for revenge after the last few seasons and were angry after their first loss to Notre Dame. They are coached by one of the best offensive minds in the game and led by a Heisman winning quarterback and former five-star recruit, Caleb Williams. The Utes, on the other hand, were battered and bruised. They were without star quarterback Cam Rising and instead were led by a former walk-on, Bryson Barnes, an unranked, unrecruited player out of high school. It was a clash of opposing styles, with many believing USC would run away with this game. Instead, the unthinkable happened, and the pig farmer accomplished something crazy. Down for Barnes. Pressure coming. He runs. Barnes across the 40, and he's inside Bryson Barnes, unbeaten as a starter in college football. It is good! The Utah Utes sink USC once more! But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I am planning to release multiple videos a week this season. If you're watching this when it's first released, I'm actually currently live with Cole Adams and Scott Fisher over on Scott's channel. Link in the description below. Also, let me know who you want me to cover in future videos in the comment section below. Bryson Barnes developed a love for football at a very young age. When he was six years old, he wore his football cleats everywhere. The park, the zoo, school, you name it. Some kids would bully him for this, but he did not care. He told his bullies that he was going to play college football one day. Bryson is from Milford, Utah, and grew up helping his parents on their pig farm, which consisted of 12,000 pigs. Milford is as small a town as it gets with a population of 1,431 people and mainly consisted of farmland. When he was confronting his bullies, he was shorter than a fence post and did not weigh much. But what he lacked in size, he made up for in confidence and work ethic. When Bryson was in third grade, he took command of his youth basketball team. His father, Chris, was the head coach and told the Salt Lake Tribune, he drew up the plays. He knew how he was going to get everybody the ball and how they were going to score. He sucked everybody over here and passed it over there. And he was just little. It worked. We won every game. After youth football games, he began to spend hours breaking down his performance and his teammates' performance and bringing a report to his coaches every week. He was in 5th grade. In 8th grade, Bryson was serving as the varsity football team manager and would sit in and listen to the high school meetings. One day, the defensive coordinator was going over his scheme for the upcoming game, but Bryson kept interrupting him, punching holes in his theories until the coach finally kicked him out due to frustration. Bryson attended Milford High School, where as a sophomore he threw for 2,822 yards and 31 touchdowns, while also rushing for 496 yards and 14 touchdowns on the ground. As a junior, Bryson threw for 3,073 yards and 48 touchdowns, while also rushing for 752 yards and 12 touchdowns on the ground, while during his senior year, he threw for 3,533 yards and 39 touchdowns, while rushing for 625 yards and 16 touchdowns on the ground. He led Milford to back-to-back -back state championships, in 2017 and 2018, according to Fox 13 Utah. Broke the state record for career touchdowns with 137, was named three-time first-team All-State, the 1A MVP as a junior, and broke multiple school records. He also played defense recording 115 career tackles, along with four career interceptions and nine passes defended. Bryson also starred on the baseball team, finishing as the 2A MVP and first-team All-State, leading Milford to a state title in 2019 on the Diamond. Although Bryson had a stellar high school football career, rewriting the state and county record books, he still flew under the radar when it came to his college recruitment. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, Bryson Barnes was an unranked zero-star recruit from the 2020 recruiting class due to playing at the 1A level in Utah, which is not known as a recruiting hotbed anyways. Bryson was not looked at as a college quarterback at the FBS level due to playing against what was considered lower-level talent. His parents and high school coaches did everything they could to get him an offer, but they would just not roll in. He had some offers from some lower level schools, but Bryson wanted to play at the biggest and best school he could, so he decided to bet on himself. 
He had preferred walk-on offers from Washington State and Utah and chose to stay close to home and play for the Utah Utes. When Barnes arrived at Utah, Cam Rising was designated as his big brother within the program and the two quickly developed a brotherly bond. Barnes had questions about their offense and Rising helped him understand the blocking schemes and receivers' routes better. They bonded over their blue-collar work ethic and their toughness. Barnes having worked as a plumber's laborer throughout his high school career and his cousins being the Wright brothers, some of the best bronc riders in rodeo. Rising had taken a lot of tough hits throughout his career and always got back up. They talked about everything together. Bryson would not see any action during the 2020 season, but during the 2021 season, he appeared in three games. Weaver State, Colorado, and against Ohio State in the Rose Bowl. During the Rose Bowl, Cam Rising suffered an injury late in the game, with the youths down 45-38. Barnes was thrown into the game and needed to lead them down the field to tie it with less than five minutes to go. Barnes orchestrated an impressive drive, going 57 yards on 6 plays in 2 minutes and 28 seconds, capped off with a 15-yard touchdown pass to the corner of the end zone to Dalton Kincaid for the game-tying touchdown. Ohio State would end up driving down the field and scoring, beating Utah, but that couldn't take away what was an impressive drive by a walk-on. The following season, Barnes would make his first start against Washington State, the other FBS team that had offered him a preferred walk-on opportunity. Rising was out with a knee injury after leading the Utes to an important win over USC the previous week, and they were fighting for their lives to make it to the conference title game. Running back Davion Thomas also missed the game, and Micah Bernard was limited. Barnes found out 40 minutes before the start of the game that he was going to be the starter that night in Pullman. Rising told him, You promise me if you go in, you're going to win the sucker, right? Barnes responded to him that he was not there to just start at Utah, but that he was going to do everything he needed to do to win the game. Utah would win 21-17 and beat USC in the Pac-12 title game to make it back to another Rose Bowl. Rising would get hurt again in the Rose Bowl and was expected to miss the beginning part of the 2023 season. Like he had done the previous two years, he beat out a highly rated quarterback recruit, this time in four-star Nate Johnson, to earn the start against Florida on a nationally televised game to open up the 2023 season. At the time, he was still not on scholarship and was working at Lowe's to help pay the bills. Bryson opened up the game with a 70-yard bomb and led Utah to a massive win over the Gators, 24-11. Following that game, he was put on scholarship. After struggling against Baylor on the road, he was pulled and replaced by Johnson. He then replaced Johnson against Oregon State in the second half before taking a spear to the chest, sending him to the hospital. Two weeks later, he returned to the Utes to help them beat Cal 34-14 and shrugged off the injury he sustained weeks earlier by saying they were just bruised ribs. But everyone would learn the pig farmer's name the following week when he made the start against USC at the Coliseum. A crucial game for both teams as they tried to stay alive in not just the Pac-12 race, but the college football playoff race as well. Barnes left it all on the field in a gutsy performance performance the team needed with multiple key players out with injuries. USC was able to take a late lead, but Bryson Barnes led the Utes down the field to set up a game-winning field goal. Barnes outperformed Williams, throwing for 235 yards and three passing touchdowns, while also rushing for a score. After the game, head coach Kyle Whittingham told the media they've got a Heisman Trophy winner at quarterback, so they're going to make some things, and that's just the way it is. But we've got ourselves a pig farmer at quarterback, so we're proud of that guy too. With Cam Rising out for the rest of the season, Barnes looks to be the man who hopes to lead Utah to another Pac-12 title, and maybe even the college football playoffs. Not bad for a pig farmer, am I right? What do you think? Can Bryson Barnes keep Utah's season alive? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching and as always remember to embrace the grind.